Hi guys, my name is Josh, and welcome to My Lonely Mountain. Today we're going to talk about my sawmill, my Woodland Mills HM126 XL trailer combo. I absolutely love this thing and have nothing but good things to say about it. So let's get started. A sawmill. With lumber prices the way they are right now, it's something a lot of folks have considered. I finally bit the bullet and got one for myself. Now the sawmill that I chose from Woodland Mills comes in a crate. It comes with blueprints and a lot of things to put together. It was actually a really fun process. It probably took me about four Saturdays, taking my time, trying to do it right, and learning about this tool along the way so that when I started it for the first time, I was prepared to do it right. And there's nothing quite like the feeling of being able to turn a log into lumber. Let's go over the mechanical equipment now. Okay guys, so here's where the rubber really meets the road, literally. So here we have our follower belt, we have our drive belt, and we have our blade. Go. Here's the guts right inside the saw. This is what we got. This is where we change blades, okay? Right up top, we've got our Woodland logo. Also, this is our water tank. This is for, this is a great application for when we have sticky, sappy wood, we lubricate it. Uh, I haven't had the need for it yet. I've mainly been doing pine and cedar, but there's a possibility that you could need it. And I think it's pretty cool because it's made out of aluminum. Uh, it's capable of doing logs up to 28 inches. Um, also, the version that I bought can actually do logs almost 17 feet in length. So, um, let's just get right into it. Alright, so here's the control panel right here. This is where everything starts. This is our engine. Up top we have a, a water tank. Um, let's try if I can get you here even closer. Alright, here we go. So, right here we've got our pull cord. We've got our on and off, our fuel. Fuel tank up top. Uh, fluids tank. Uh, right here we have our instruction manual is kept. And then, here we have our blade housing. So right here is where, this is where the danger happens, right? This is what we're gonna push through the log. Now later in the video you're gonna get to see that happen and I'm gonna narrate exactly what we're up to, okay? So just stick with me. Okay, let's get set up to cut some logs. First of all, I did buy the Woodland Mills cover. I think it was a great investment. Also, I researched and eventually purchased the loading ramps and winch. I, I don't happen to have any heavy machinery or a place to keep it. So this has worked really well. Here's a quick action shot of said winch. All right, let's lay this log out. Now the fun begins. Now, slow and steady wins the race on this. Um, there's no reason to rush it. If you want a perfect board, slow and steady. I'm gonna speed up the camera here and kind of show you the process. Now, when you load a log, you have a lot of turning to do. Eventually you're going to cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn. All in the hopes of turning this log into what they call a cant, or something that's square and not round. I 
I do a lot of double checking because I'm still pretty new at this, but you get faster with time. Now a little free lumber in this day and age can't hurt at all. The possibilities with one of these sawmills is really endless. You can make it whatever you want it to be. I've really appreciated having this new hobby and the ability to make lumber for my family and their projects. This has been a great journey for me and a fun place to explore my creative side. I'm even hoping to get into some furniture here in the future. If you decide to get a sawmill, check out the Woodland Mill. I think you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching today, and thanks for watching My Lonely Mountain.